Hello everyone and welcome to Argentina Salo. Today I'm going to be showing you how we make salmuera. And salmuera is ultimately a traditional Argentine brine. And we're going to use this for different cooking methods. But today, particularly, we are going to be cooking a lamb and we're going to be doing it over a vertical spit. And that is why we use salmuera here in Argentina is because if you're cooking uh, a piece of meat for a long period of time, it's good to keep the skin and the outer pores as moist as possible. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the ingredients that are in the Argentine salmuera or the Argentine brine. Okay guys, so the ingredients for my Argentine salmuera, and there's gonna be a few variants of some of the traditional ingredients, but the core traditional ingredients for an Argentine salmuera are the following. First of all, you're gonna to need to have a glass bottle. Now you can use plastic, but I like to use glass because it's gonna go in the fridge, and this is gonna contain, obviously, the temperature a lot better than plastic. So this is a 600 ml glass bottle, and I'm gonna be filling up with different ingredients that I'm gonna be sharing with you now. So the first ingredients we have, which is obviously, obviously water. Now, why I've put it here in the kettle is that I have preheated this water, and why I try to always use warm or tibid, tibid, tibid? Yeah, I think so, tibid. Tibid water is because when you add in salt, especially marine salt or coarse salt and coriander, the hot water or the warm water is gonna help absorb that taste faster, okay? So we're gonna be first adding 200 ml of warm water. Once we've done that, we're gonna add 200 ml of red wine. Now, I like to use a nice red wine. You can use a cheaper red wine, but I find, I, I tend to find that over time that gets acidic because your salmuera is gonna be sitting in the fridge for a couple of hours before you take it to the grilling, uh, to, your, to your barbecue. <clears throat> Once I've added my red wine and my water, I'm then going to add a few drops of balsamic vinegar. And this is gonna give it a little bit of a tangy, tweet, uh, sweet taste. And I like this, this is a variant. Some people don't put this in, but I like to put it in. Once I've added my balsamic vinegar, I'm gonna come across and I'm gonna add diced garlic. And obviously you're gonna to have to make your garlic as fine as possible to be able to put it in the top. Once I've added my garlic, I'm going to cut up some parsley. If it can be fresh, better. This has actually been in the freezer. This is how I keep my parsley, but you can, um, the best is to use fresh parsley. Once I've added my fresh parsley, I'm gonna move on and add in rosemary. Now this is the key to a good salmoida or a good brine. So add in your parsley. So we've added in our garlic, we've added in our parsley, we've added in our rosemary, and now we're gonna add in one tablespoon of salt. Now you can add in a little bit more, but I think one tablespoon is a pretty fair proportion of salt. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to add in my sweet pepper. Now this is sweet pepper is uh, pimenton in Spanish. And what I like about this is it just really gives it that zesty final tuss, uh, taste. Once I've added in my sweet pepper, which generally is about one teaspoon, so it's not too much, I'm gonna add in a few of these coriander. Now you don't wanna go overboard with this because it's gonna be sitting in the fridge for a couple of hours. It's gonna get very, very, it's gonna get, the, the taste is gonna get stronger over time. So don't go overboard with this. One teaspoon is more than enough. And lastly, I am gonna add in paprika. I like to add in my paprika because it gives you that kind of final curry taste and it warms everything up. And I think it's a great, uh, it's a great variant. So they're the ingredients for my salmuera or my Argentine brine. Okay guys, so we added all of our ingredients to the salmuera or the Argentine brine. And as you can see, we have this incredible brine that is gonna be in the fridge for around three hours before we use it. Now the reason is I want the temperature from the warm water that we put in to absorb the salt and the coriander and the rosemary and the parsley to get back to a more of a stable temperature and then cool down and that is when we'll be using it on the barbecue. Now what you can go ahead and do, which I didn't say before, is I actually added some thyme and 
I love this because it's just, it really complements the rosemary and the parsley. So that is an option that you can add in. Now lastly, I'm going to top this up with just 200 ml of room temperature water. And when we're done, we are going to put on our cork or whatever you've got as a, okay. And give it a bit of a mix. And as you can see, that is an incredible mixture ready for the fridge. And then we're gonna take it to the barbecue later today. Enjoy.